we have seen in the priority scheduling algorithm that all processes even though they might be having different priorities are kept in one ready queue. The multi-level queue scheduling algorithm has separate ready queues for processes with different priorities. So we may have Q0 for processes which are at the highest priority level which is assuming that a lower integer is representing a higher priority. So probably P10, P1, P4, P7 and P9 are the highest priority and they are kept in Q0 ready queue. Then the lower priority processes with priority 1, P5, P11 and P2 can be kept in Q1 which is another ready queue for a slightly lower priority processes and so on. Now all the processes which are in the highest priority queue, they will be scheduled first and the processes which are having a lower priority will be scheduled after all the processes in the higher priority queues have been finished. So only when processes in Q0 have finished or have been scheduled, then only processes in Q1 will be scheduled. Once Q0 and Q1 processes are scheduled, then processes in Q, Q2 will be scheduled. Now each queue over here might have its own scheduling algorithm like Q0 might have the round robin scheduling algorithm, Q1 might have the shortest job first scheduling algorithm and so on. So each ready queue over here can have its own scheduling algorithm and these algorithms round robin and shortest job first and so on we have discussed in earlier videos. So how are these multi-level queues defined? The highest priority of course can be given to the real time processes because these are the processes which have a deadline and they have to be executed before that deadline. So these processes they need to be given the highest priority. The system processes which are running in the kernel mode they can be given the next priority. Then interactive processes, the batch processes which do not have a lot of importance and can be run once all the other higher priority processes are scheduled, they can be given the lowest priority. Each queue has absolute priority over the lower priority queues. That means if a low priority process is running and a higher priority process enters the ready queue, then the low priority process will be preempted and the higher priority process will be scheduled first. Another possibility is that some kind of time slice can be done among the queues. That means each different priority queue will get a certain portion of the CPU time. Like Q0 will get T0 of the CPU time and this T0 will be divided amongst all the processes which are there in Q0. Similarly, Q1 will be given some time T1 of the CPU and this T1 would be divided or allocated among the various processes in Q1. So this is another possibility of time slicing amongst the queues. Now, in the multi-level queue we saw that there are various processes kept in various queues based on the priorities but they were not moving between the queues. Once a particular process entered one priority queue, it remained in this queue only. Similarly, a process which entered this queue 1 queue, it remained in this queue only and was to be scheduled in this manner only. But there is a way where a process can move between the various queues and this scheduling algorithm is referred to as the multi-level feedback queue. So here the separate processes, they are separated according to the characteristics of their CPU bursts. So if a process was a high priority process, but if it is using too much of the CPU, then it will be moved to a lower priority queue. So suppose a process entered over here, P0, and it was a high priority process, 
this high priority q was following the round robin algorithm with time quantum 8. Now suppose this high priority process 0 wants to use the CPU for 20 time units. Then after being scheduled once over here and now it is known that it requires the CPU for a longer time then it will be moved to a lower priority process. So thus any process which is taking too much of CPU time will keep on moving to a lower priority queue. So input output bound and interactive processes which usually have a very short CPU burst they will be in the high priority queues because once these interactive processes come in the high priority queue they will finish in this time quantum only because they require the CPU for a very short time and they will be out of the system. CPU bound processes which require the CPU for a longer period, period of time are better off kept in the lower priority queues. Now a process which is waiting for long in a lower priority queue it can also be moved to a higher priority queue. Suppose a process entered this queue which is Q2 and it wanted to use the, uh, the scheduler uh, the processor but it was kept waiting for a very long time because the CPU was being used by the higher priority queues. In this manner a process over here in this queue will be starved of using the processor. This concept is called starvation and in to avoid the starvation this process let's call it P2 can be moved from a lower priority queue to a higher priority queue. So this way the movement of processes from a lower priority queue to a higher priority queue will prevent starvation and this is referred to as aging also. Aging has been discussed earlier in another video also in detail. So how does the scheduler uh, define this multi-level feedback queue algorithm? What all parameters are needed? How many number of queues will be there? Then what will be the scheduling algorithm for each queue? Each queue can have its own scheduling algorithm. So deciding on which queue will have what scheduling algorithm, this also is has to be defined. Then how will a process be upgraded? That means at what time or in what circumstances will a process move from a lower to a higher priority queue? Then when should a process be demoted? That means when should it move from a high priority to a lower priority queue. Also methods used to determine which queue a process will enter. That means at the time of entering the system it has to be determined which queue that process will enter. So these are certain parameters which need to be defined for this multi-level feedback queue algorithm.